So Steve, do you want to just give us a brief outline of the purpose of this educational centre? We're a government education facility, so we're we're a school. We're able to give the students back at the end of the day, so that's <laughs> that, which is which is good and bad. But we do things here that you can't do within regular schools. Mm -hmm. So we've got specialist facilities and resources that you mightn't have in a school. For example, we have our boat. Uh, which not every school can afford. Mm -hmm. So we share it and we become a campus of all our local schools so they can come and access all our resources. Our whole system revolves around good quality staff and good resources. Most of our programs are centered on sustainability and biodiversity. And sustainability is an easy one to talk about with students while they're here. Biodiversity, we use marine habitats as, as the theme. So we could be out in our boat doing seagrass. Mm -hmm. We could be in the mangroves, uh, settlement plates underwater. But then again, we could be in the forest as well. So we use the habitat as our, what we call pedagogy, our place of learning. And that is the theme. And all the curriculum is centered around that because we have to make sure that all, all curriculum links for all age groups from P to 12 uh, within a particular subject area that we're doing, if it's biology, are met within our programs. Because we are Education Queensland, we have yeah. to do it that way. Um, it's not really a place where you just come and go, hey, let's have a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> we, like to, we like the kids to go away thinking that they've had a holiday and they've been educated. We were teaching um, year, what they, first year marine biology students just recently. Mm -hmm. So they were tertiary students and, and every one of them had a different direction they were gonna go in. And, and we were talking to them about the education side of things because we're, we're in the education side. Some of my staff have come from other industries. Yeah. Some of them have come from the fishing industry. Some of them have come from the tourist industry. Uh, what sort of work placement opportunities do you believe that Jacob's Well could, could offer? offer? Mm -hmm. Well, one, our boat. So you're going to get lots of sea time. Yeah. Uh, you'll learn about the workings of the boat as well, the maintenance as well on the boat. And then our programs, whichever programs are going at the time, it could be a trawl where we're looking at adaptations of certain organisms we pick up off the bottom. We could be in the mangroves where we're looking at mangrove systems. Mm -hmm. um, we could be diving and a rock wall and we'll be looking at settlement and sessile animals and we're looking at sea grasses. And so all those different habitats we're looking at. So you'll learn that. Plus you'll be learning how to work in a team because we have to We have to work in it. It just doesn't work if yep. we don't all get on. But then we have little extras that they might want to pick up on like ropes courses. Uh, we'll be propagating, we've got a nursery, so we might be able to propagate certain things. And I know there's a lot of interest in seagrass mm. and mangrove propag propagations. So we could be doing that as well. So um, really there's, it depends on the time of the year, yep. depends on what's in our calendar mm. and what our client schools want. Mm to what the person who comes in to do placement gets. Yeah, yeah. so that I can see that they'd be getting a lot of variety. Yes. What's the advantage for you, um, having looked at our course, that you're actually going to have people coming in who know the hands-on skills? Oh, they'll be, they'll be able to value add to the information that we're already giving. Um, sometimes you, I can be talking to kids till I'm blue in the face and they're just looking at you, but it just takes one other person who sees a different perspective to make a few comments and they go, oh, that's what he means. Mm. So having two or three people doing, saying it different ways is really good, all right? Um, also, the confidence of us leaving that person with a group mm. would be really good because we know that they have the knowledge. Yeah. And I'm sure because they're mature age, because we get a, we do get a lot of practical teaching students come in. Yes. Um, and I'm assuming that mature age students are going to be a little bit, um, oh, well, I'd say all the time, but a little bit better with the students as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so finally on the work placement, why do you think other industries should engage in work placement? Like what, what's the value for students and oh, future employers? It, you can work out of a textbook, and I suppose this is the way we teach. It's live the, live the learning is our motto here. Mm. So you can teach in a, t in a classroom out of a textbook, but still not get the understanding until you go and actually do it. Mm. So having hands-on practical experience, even with the teachers these days, learning about teaching practice within a, within the classroom you know it it doesn't meet every criteria you go out and actually do it and get in the real world and then you know wow hey that, oh, i've got to pick up this i've got to learn this i've got to learn that that's where it comes with the practical experience mm. i think that hands-on learning 
there's not enough of it these days. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And mm. I think that's what's amazing about our course. And even though they've, they've um, learnt the skills and they've been out in the real world, to then apply it in a work placement, yes. like you say, yeah. being in a real work environment as opposed to being in the safety network of other students and your teachers really amps up what yeah. they need to do. Yeah. yeah. I'm really excited about collaborating yeah, it'd be with you great. guys and, and what and we're the, doing. It's a win-win really for us. Um, there's, there's, for us, we have practical students here quite a bit and they follow. But then once they get to know what's going on, they assist. Mm. And then we put them in charge of things as mm. well. It's great to have someone else on the same wavelength as us teaching with us, yeah. team teaching, yeah. Amazing, mm. thank you so much. No worries.